One thing I should say is that the legislation we're talking about, H.R. 1987, doesn't mention Donald Trump's name. It's not uh, a body set up devoted to looking at Donald Trump's fitness for office. So why introduce the, it now? It, it's the, well, I just got elected to Congress in January, but it's the body that's called for in the uh, 25th Amendment to examine the capacity of the president to successfully execute the powers and duties of office. Here's the thing, Congressman, and you want you want um, you want to impeach this president. You've said so. Um, and I, when did I say that? You've said you want to impeach the president. I want to say this about Donald Trump, who I may well be voting to impeach over the next year or two. Applause. This is a January yes. 2017 rally. Yeah. And you uh, oppose Congress's vote to certify the election results. So you, you definitely don't want him as president. Well, let's start with this. I think that the media has been conflating impeachment in the 25th Amendment. Impeachment is a process that's built into the Constitution to address high crimes and misdemeanors by the President of the United States. The 25th Amendment was adopted 50 years ago in 1967 in order to deal with the problem of a president who lacks the mental or physical capacity to execute the powers and duties of office. So those are two different things. And it's very possible that somebody has committed no high crimes and misdemeanors and is perfectly capable. It's possible that they are impeachable, but they have capacity. It's possible they have capacity, but are not impeachable. And it's possible that they've committed high crimes and misdemeanors and also are incapable of successfully executing the powers and duties of office. So they're two separate things, but uh, a person could come under